For me, I do means I will, as in I will hold your hand and walk with you through good times and hard times. I will love you forever and be forever faithful. I will do whatever it takes to make you happy and prove that I am worthy of a life to be spent with you. I promise to give you 100% of me because a relationship shouldn't be 50-50. It should be 100% both ways. You're the first of the year, a warm kiss in the cold. You're the whisper in my ear when I need it the most. If I was cast on an island and could only bring one thing, still you'd be all I need. freshman year of high school in PE class. Um, he would throw footballs at me to get my attention and I never caught any. I just always ran away and <laughs> never talked to him. And then he would always ask me what time it was in class. So that was his way of like talking to me and flirting with me. And I would just tell him the time like I was saying 10.38 and I'd walk away. And so finally um, I started talking to him So, Ab and I's first date was after school one day. We went to Pizza Hut with her and her mom, and they had bought this whole spread. They bought an appetizer of like garlic bread, a large stuffed crust pizza, and I didn't eat. I ate like a cheese stick and two pieces of pizza. And I, I had to stop because I was just so nervous to not only meet her for the first time, like one on one with a date, but her mom was there. She kind of chaperoned and uh, I was kind of, I was really nervous and they made fun of me saying, you know, you shouldn't make two women eat more than you on a first date. Eddie, I promise to always love you, to always be by your side, and to always support you. I promise to always listen to you and help you through the hard times. I promise to value our marriage each and every day. I promise to pray with you and pray for you. I promise to wake up every day and choose you. You are my best friend, and I wouldn't want to spend the rest of my life with anyone else. I love you. You're the wind in my sails. You're the pole of the sea. You're the wish in the well. And my faithful belief. If the whole wide world was offered to me, still you'd be all I need. Oh, you. Be all I need. When you were born, your mama said the Lord bless you and keep you in everything that you do. Take heart. When you were eight, your daddy said. Never take your life for granted Believe in second chances, my love When the world spins badly on Remember that you belong Eddie, I am so excited to marry you today. Um, I'm so nervous right now, um, but I'm so excited for the rest of our lives together and this is the start of it, so I'm so excited. Communication is the key, and pick your battle, lose the battle, and keep fighting the good war. Ab, I take it back, I am nervous. I'm very nervous now, but nervousness still doesn't outweigh the excitedness that I am to be able to start this new chapter in our life and really start our story, our real story. You are strong, you are brave, you are all you meant to be. Everything you ever dreamed came true. When you laugh, when you cry, 
cry I'll be always on your side And thank God for you and me Marital love is to be unconditional and unselfish. True love is meeting the needs of your spouse, whether they're physical needs or emotional needs or spiritual needs. The Apostle Paul gives us the beautiful picture of love in his unforgettable words in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And there he says that love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, it does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, it is not easily provoked, it does not take an account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. The Apostle Paul begins to sum it up by saying, love bears all things, love believes all things, love hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails, now abides faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Happy dearly, I'll always uh, be there for each other, be your best friend. Baby, I just want you to know that every day wake up and choose Eddie and be happy, appreciate every day of your life with him as a gift from God and um, he will bless your marriage. Um, pray for each other every day. And always be each other's best fan. I can't say anything better than your mom said it. Just always tell each other you love each other every day. Your mom and I do that every day before we leave. Just like we tell you. But he always will be there for you. Uh, I wish you guys a very happy marriage. And um, everybody a round of applause for the couple. Eddie Jr. Or I mean Eddie the third will happen next year.